Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster Channel. Today we are about to dive back into the world of the strange and unusual. And today, that brings us to the world of ice cream. And you know, if you've seen my reviews before, I've either done Jenny's or Van Leeuwen's. Today is a Van Leeuwen day. If you've watched my other Van Leeuwen videos before, you'll know that I am a big fan of the Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Ice Cream. It was, and still is, pretty delicious. Van Leeuwen's has been coming out with a series of limited uh, edition flavors, specifically uh, only at Walmarts, and some of them have had some brand pairings with them, and today is another one of those brand pairings. You know, they've had the Kraft Macaroni and Cheese, they had the um, Great Poupon Dijon Mustard flavor, which I didn't care for. Um, I also reviewed the pizza one, even though it wasn't like a name brand pairing with the pizza. Didn't really care for that one. But this round, uh, they had a few new limited editions. I've tried it. The majority of them, they I think they came out with six, and I'm trying four of them. Because they can't, they said honeycomb was a limited edition, but they have honeycomb regularly, so I don't know why it's limited edition. And I've had it before; it is good. I uh, just need, did, didn't need to re-review it for this. They also had like a berry cake one that uh, I didn't get this time around, just because it seemed very similar to their blueberry cake that they just had last time that I reviewed. Not a video, but I did talk about it during my review. This time around, uh, the four that I did try, um, in no particular order, but I'll tell you what, if I like them or not, there was the chocolate hazelnut cookie one, which had like sugar cookie, kind of like crumbly cookie bits in the ice cream, but it had like swirls of hazelnut chocolate, which is basically Nutella, and it was delicious. If you like fudgy chocolate, the nutty flavor to it, they're uh, hazelnut uh, chocolate cookie one, very good. Then they had, um, what I had a couple days ago was the sweet potato marshmallow casserole one. Um, if you're a fan of sweet potato pies or anything like that, you'll definitely like it. It, uh, I liked it. The, the marshmallows were like the regular kind of like mini puffs that you get on top of a sweet potato casserole and it tasted pretty sweet potato -y, I would say. And then the third one that I tried um, was the pumpkin cinnamon roll. And of those three that I tried, this one was the best. Um, the ice cream itself had a, a, a nice like pumpkin-y spice flavor to it. It had this like swirl of caramely cinnamon-ness that was just really good. Um, so all three of those got thumbs up for me but today because I like to save these ones for the on-camera reviews we're going to try the Tapatio Mexican hot chocolate Mexican cho hot chocolate usually a chocolate has some kind of like spice blend to it uh, heavy on the cinnamon um, but sometimes you could have other spices like chili as well this one has Tapatio hot sauce in it. On the side it says mild, so I don't know if they have other versions or they might be coming out with other things in the future that are more spicy. Good job hands. Now it's mouth's turn. Let's see what it looks like under the wrapper. It does look like it was extruded in there. It has a nice ripple of what I'm assuming is some kind of chocolate. Let's dive in, see if it tastes good. If we like the spice or not, as well. It's going out really soft. Mm, a little marshmallow. Marshmallows would make sense for hot chocolate. It doesn't mention marshmallows in the front. But look, it's definitely a marshmallow. More marshmallows. I'm definitely getting. Like a classic spiced 
chocolate flavor that you get from the Mexican hot chocolate. The marshmallows are very similar to the marshmallows that were in the sweet potato one. They're probably the same exact thing. They're squishy, bouncy. That vanilla marshmallow flavor to it. That chocolatey ribbon is nice and fudgy, how I like it. I'm not getting like a hot sauce flavor. I am getting like maybe there's chili powder or cumin or something in here. But like when I think of tapatio, that kind of hot sauce flavor, I'm not really detecting that in here. The hot sauce is relatively low. So you have milk, cream, sugar, tapioca syrup, water, cocoa powder, another cocoa powder, uh, egg yolk, tapioca starch, chocolate liqueur, then hot sauce. And after hot sauce, you have spices, cornstarch, vanilla extract, sea salt, carrageenan, soy protein, natural flavors, salt. It's good. I'm not going to say it's a bad ice cream. If you label this as Mexican hot chocolate and just left it at that, I would say, yeah, this tastes like a, a spiced up hot chocolate it maybe has some chili powder or other spices in it but you put tapatio on the front and in the ingredients and this is hot sauce i'm not really getting a hot sauce flavor to it it was it just tastes like there's like some dry herbs and spices in here that was mixed in i do like the chocolate in the base I like the, the fudginess from the, the ripply swirl of chocolate here. I'm just not getting hot sauce flavor. So that's kind of disappointing. Van Lee one's Tapatio Mexican hot chocolate. It's a good ice cream. But the uh, Tapatio part of it is just, I don't know, non existent. Not picking it up. And uh, out of all the new ones I've tried, it's not the best. Um, if you're looking for something that's like really fudgy, the uh, the hazelnut cookie one, the the hazelnut Nutella swirl in there is really fudgy and really good. Though this is chocolate throughout. Um, you, if you want just chocolate, sure, this is good. But if you like that fudginess. The hazelnut one is better. Um, marshmallow ones. The the sweet potato one has marshmallows too, so it's not even the best when it comes to marshmallows. Uh, but the pumpkin cinnamon roll one was far above my favorite out of all of these. The the ripple of like caramely cinnamoniness uh, reminds me of like that inner portion. Of a cinnamon roll where it's gooey and just all the flavors are just concentrated in the middle of that center part but anyway that's it for the video van lee ones tapatio mexican hot chocolate if you like the video give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and for more videos where i test weird ice cream flavors that i can get a hold of 
keep watching and some will come up at some point eventually as long as people keep making them anyway bye